Frank Yellup, General Manager of Fresno FC. Awesome. Frank, thank you so much for uh, sitting down to talk with me today. I was a little bit skeptical when I first came to Fresno. I know the, the city has a really good tradition with the Fresno Fuego, mm -hmm. and I was kind of confused now that there's a USL team coming on board. So if you could, could you tell me a little bit about what the team's purpose is here in Fresno? Yeah, well, I think that the big thing, um, when the franchise come here from USL or got awarded here, they, they saw the great job that the Fuego had done with, uh, with their amateur PDL team. So I think it was a big draw for the league to look at and wanting somebody to take over the franchise or buy the franchise, if you like, and bring it to Fresno. So what we wanted to do is make sure that those fans were taken care of. So um, Ray Bashoff, the uh, principal owner, um, purchased the, the Fuego team. And it's all under the same umbrella now. So, you know, FFC is at the top. We've got the Fuego, and we're going to incorporate. We think uh, with the well, we will do with the ladies team, the Freeze. So, um, we wanted to make sure that the the pinnacle of the, the professional sports, professional soccer, uh, was uh, Fresno Football Club, and, and I think we've achieved that. What is the club doing to um, to gain the support of people that used to support the, the Fuego? I think it's education. I think it's making sure that they know. Um, we've not abandoned that team. We, we we really appreciate what they've done in the in the market, and we're making sure that they they do know that um, we're, now it's a professional team. And I think that's a big difference. You know, it's you've got to educate the public to to make sure that they know that this is professional. Um, the flag was an amateur team as a flight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. He's watching them. Okay, yeah. <laughs> He's been after me for a while. Um, education. So I think we've, we're getting there slowly but surely. I've met a lot of fire squad. Um, the message out is professional. We're trying to make sure that they know um, what's going to be coming in, in March, you know, pre-season and all those things. So I think people are getting really excited about it. What, um, what's the story of you, uh, of you coming here? Obviously, this is a bit of a new role for you as, as general manager. Um, most, if not all, of your experience comes as a, as a head coach. Yeah. Well, basically, um, you know, I've only known being a player and a coach. Done a technical directed role and then kind of head of... Um, you know, head of football was at Chicago and then different roles and San Jose I felt was quite in charge of a lot of things there um, other than just coaching but um, this is just a brand new start from scratch uh, enterprise and it's been enjoyable. I'm looking forward to getting a coach and some players in, in, on board because it's been sort of three months or whatever is it, whatever the time has been. Um, I'm looking forward to sort of that end product if you like but I've really enjoyed it. I've got some great staff um, we're going to play in a city that can't wait for the team to you know, get going. And I think it's all setting up to be nice, uh, nice for me, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, walk me through that process. What is it like being awarded uh, a USL franchise and then not having a name or a logo or staff or anything to, mm -hmm. to where we are today? What is, what is that process like? Well, I think it was three months ago. We didn't have anything going. Um, the big thing for me was let's make sure that we brand correct. Yeah, it's kind of surprising when you think, oh, you know, uh oh, you know, we've got to get going on this. So now here we are, we've got office staff, we've got a name, we've got a brand, we've, we've got some, you know, momentum in the city, it's starting to kind of take off. So um, from scary times to enjoyable, um, it's nice to build from scratch, though. You know, you pick your colors, you pick your logo, you, you pick a venue, you, you know, you pick staff. You, so all those things are new to me. I'm used to building teams, but only soccer players as my team rather than staff members and, and, and you know ticket sales guys and stuff like that. So it's been, um, I'm a people's person, so I like to have good people around me and I think that um, we've got a great staff. I've, I've enjoyed uh, being with them. You know, I've got a pretty hefty sort of work log, if you like, because i I got to be in touch with everything that goes on right now. And obviously I'm in charge of, you know, signing a coach and with the coach sign players and do all that stuff too. So. Um, I'm enjoying it though. What, uh, what do the next few months look like for you specifically and, and also the club as a whole as you work toward uh, kicking off your inaugural game? Yeah, so basically now is the, the ticket package has gone out to all the uh, to buy season tickets and put deposits down, all those type of thing. Um, we've got, um, there'll be an announcement of, of you know our kit, it's coming up, head coach, some players, just different things that are going to come up that are going to really elevate and, and make sure the public know that we are, you know, we're here, and to get them aware of the team and, and what we can do with that. Um, as GM, what um, first off, how much control will you have over that technical side of the game, uh, and, and what are you looking for uh, as Fresno uh, hires a head coach? 
Well, I, I want to make sure that I get a coach that's hungry and, and really wants to do well and then do you know have a good start in his career. If it's a first time coach, uh, sorry, first time coach or someone who's who's been coaching already, I want to make you know has a head coach. I want to make sure that they are super hungry to be here and they want to do well with, for this team. And I can help them with that. I feel you know I'm, I'm I'm pretty experienced now, so I think that any questions he's going to ask me, I'm going to probably have an idea of what he's talking about for sure, and hopefully I can help him along in that in that. Um, in that front, I would like to think that um, we're one. I interview coaches on the same lines of of what type of players we like, and two or three of the guys I've, I've um, interviewed have, have been pretty close with how we want to play. I want to I want to entertain the fans. There's nothing worse than coming to a stadium. You might be winning or tying or doing the things, but it's not good to watch. We've got to be a good attacking uh, unit, and we've got to be exciting to watch because it's it's you know the, the fans are paying the hard paid money to watch something that should be enjoyable. Yeah, I've uh, I've noticed in my travels uh, many successful USL teams. Um, are, are there any in particular that you're kind of using as a as a reference point as you uh, essentially build a club up from nothing? Well, I think you look at the top ones. I mean, why not? I, mean, I think Cincinnati was lightning in the bottle, but great job. Whatever they did, they got it right in the marketing and whatever they decided to do. I understand that um, you know it's not easy to get that those numbers, and you know it's a big city. But I think you know you. you up Sacramento, up the road, has, has done a wonderful job of, you know, sort of start from scratch and building up to a, you know, sell out every game. I think San Antonio has really done a good job of now elevating their fan base. Um, Louisville, I'm just trying to think of some of the other clubs. You know, even even Reno have done a great job of getting sort of 6,000 fans. So, you know, we, we that was looking at those type teams and how they did it is important because we're, we're kind of doing the same thing. We want to make sure that we get, you know, I'm looking at 8,000 fans coming to the game. Why not? We're aiming high. If there's more, we've got room for that. If not, we've got a great sight lines for all the, all the people that are going to come to the game and, and all the fans are going to enjoy the actual product and how they're sitting. And I want to make sure it felt like a soccer stadium. I know there's going to be a, an outfield. You can't do anything about that. We're in a baseball stadium. But I want to make sure that those you know 6,000 sort of seats that are right, right on the side, the sideline, they really enjoy and can get into the game and really see it well and all those things. Uh, you mentioned the club setting its targets high. What are the the ambitions for for Fresno FC uh, down down the road? Well, I want to be the best USL team on and off the field. I mean, that's basically why I took the job and I wanted to do that. There's, you know, we could say, oh, we want to be in an MLS. MLS is closing pretty soon, so you know, we want to make sure that we are really top button, uh, top draw, excuse me, um, uh, USL franchise and team on and off the field. And I think that's important for for me because I. I didn't want to come into something that was, you know, haphazard and not, not really what I wanted to do. And, you know, it's kind of, we're getting sort of three and a half hours in, but we're not sure about, um, you know, where it's going to go. I wanted this to be a really, really good franchise with a good team and a great fan base. You mentioned surrounding yourself with good people. Um, who, who are some of the people that you've brought in and what connections do they have to the sport and the area? Uh, well, we've got a great ticketing uh, person in Fred Mathis who started in Sacramento. So we've, we got him down from, um, he just left Sacramento, but we've got him working with us now, so he's a great um, um, person to have. Jeremy Schultz was the ex-general manager of the, of the Fuego. Um, obviously done a great job with, with that franchise and that, uh, that, that, that team. And um, one of his workers he had here in marketing, um, well, they're doing sort of jack-of-all-trades, if you like, those two. They, were, they did everything. But um, it's Jordan Weeby, who's our marketing director now. Um, Head of the Fire Squad, which is a very good um, fan base that we already have here. Um, that's I feel fully will support the new team and, and really get behind um, what we're trying to do. How crucial is it to have the support of uh, of the Fire Squad? I think it's crucial. I mean, and and you know, soccer fans are not stupid, so they know if I'm trying to come in here and take over, and you know, you're no good. It's only PDL, and we don't care about you. Now you've got to support us. I I, th I feel that they understand the reasons why we're here. We're here to elevate this fan base to another level. And I think that knowing that, um, they're on board. And I think we're not trying to give them any gimmicks. We just want to give them a fantastic product to, to follow and, and get behind. You know, the PDL six to seven home game season, this is going to be 20. Not league, but we're going to have 20 matches where our team's playing uh, on the field. You know, Fresno Football Club will be playing against whoever it is. If we play friendlies against MLS teams, it's our, our team playing, not two Mexican teams playing. 
which gets really good um, ratings and, and crowds here, it'll be our home team playing against whoever we bring. Any, um, you know, final last minute closing thoughts if you're making a pitch to the people of Fresno or to just soccer fans in the country that are curious about this project, um, what is going to set you guys apart and, and why should people uh, feel attracted to this team? Well, I, I, I want to make sure, and again, I keep saying it, I want to make it make it real and make make it a good team on and off the field. And that's very important to me to make it seem like a really, not seem, it will be a very good professional team. And, and we can't win every game, we understand it, but I want to make sure that we're trying our best to do that. I think if you if you show the fans that you are um, trying to do the right things on the field and off the field, when they come to the game, it's a great experience. You know, I've watched a lot of soccer games and have been involved in a lot of soccer games down on the field level. I feel that if you get that together and you make it make it right, the fans enjoy the energy that the team's giving, and the supporters can give it back to the team and, and, and follow the team with passion. And I think that's the big thing I want to do. Perfect. Thank you, Frank. Pleasure.